Hi there, I'm going to show you how to use the Casio FX82AU to do statistics. Um, and the things that I'm going to show you are how to clear the memory, how to change the modes, um, how to enter scores into the calculator and how to find the mean, the um, standard deviation and the standard deviation of a sample. Okay, the first thing that I'll show you is how to change your mode. And of course we have the mode key here and when I press mode I'm given two options. The first is the computation mode which is the standard calculator mode and two is the statistics mode. So if I press two to go to statistics mode it gives me lots of options of what I could do next but I just simply want the first option which is one. I see this frequency distribution table. It's a little table there with the X score up the top and some numbers here. Now it's empty um, and that happens when you change into statistics mode. It clears all of the values inside that. Um, and so that's pretty much the most efficient way to clear the memory is to move into the mode um, to do the statistics, move back to comp and back into statistics and that will clear it for you. Um, now I'm going to show you an example of entering scores using um, this calculator and of course the buttons that you'll need to do this are um, the number pad to type the score and then the equals button to enter the score. So we're going to enter the score of 2 and we press equals. And you'll notice it displays a little 2 up as the first value in the table. We're going to put in the number 3 equals 5 equals 6 equals 7 equals and 10 equals. It's very important that you have pressed equals after each score so it knows to enter that score. Uh, now that I've got my six scores in I'm going to do these functions on the calculator with them. Find the average, the sample deviation and the standard deviation and these are the values I'm expecting to see. Now to access the menu for statistics, I need to use this button, the one key with shift. And before I do that though, I have to just um, press AC and then I press the shift key and then the one button. And I'm given these options of type, data, sum, variation and min max. And I'm working with the variations here, number four. So I press four and I see this new menu which has option one, gives me the number of scores I've entered, which would be six. Number two, which finds the average. Number three, find the population standard deviation. And number four, find the sample standard deviation. So I'm wanting to find the mean first, and so I press two equals, and the answer of 5.5 is the average. Um, I want to find the sample deviation, so I go back to the menu, shift, one, four, and I want the sample deviation number four equals, and I get the answer here of 2.88, as is here. And then finally I want to find the um, population deviation, so shift, one, four, and then the um, population deviation which is number three equals and I get the answer of a rounded 2.63. So that's entering individual scores into that table. Now the next example that I want to show you is using your calculator with a frequency distribution table when you know that there's a frequency of more than one of the scores. So here seven is happening four times and eight is happening five times, nine is happening three times. So what I can do, and I'm going to just in, uh, clear the table first by going out of statistics mode, mode one, and going back into statistics mode, mode two, and then I wanted, remember, just the one minus there, and you see our table there and it's empty again. Now at the moment, I'll need to enter the number seven four times and the number eight five times. But this particular calculator allows you to um, set up a frequency column and I'll just show you how you can do that. And the buttons I'm going to use are shift and mode. So when I press the shift key and the mode button, 
I have this big set of menus, but there's actually more. There's a little up arrow which tells you that there's more to see. And so I'm going to press the down key on the replay button, the big round button. I'm going to press the down key. And I have the option here of st statistics number three. So I'm going to press number three. And it asks me if I want the frequency column on or off. And I'm going to turn it on. So I press one. And I see now that I have a score column and a frequency column. And so now I have the seven score happening and I press equals and it's telling me it happened once. So I'm going to go across and say that I want that to happen four times. The eight and I'm going to press equals and I'm going to say that I want that to happen five times. The nine and I'm going to say that I want that to happen three times. The 10. And I'm going to say I want that to happen seven times. Seven equals 11. And I'm going to say that I want that to happen nine times. Nine equals. And 12, I want to say that that's happening six times. Okay, so that's literally typing in these values into the calculator using the, um, the buttons to navigate around the screen. Um, I'm going to clear that so that I can access the statistics menu and I'm going to find the mean sample deviation and population deviation and here's the answers I'm expecting to see. So firstly we press shift stat and I want the variation so I press 4 and I want to know the average so I press 2 for the mean equals and I get the answer here of 9.88 I want to know the sample deviation so I press shift stat and I'm going to the variations again 4 and I want to get the sample deviation which is 4 I press equals and there's my answer 1.67 rounded and then finally, I want the population deviation, shift, one, four, and that's the third option, three equals, and my answer is 1.64. Okay, um, that's it. Thank you very much. I'm just going to move out of that. That clears the table, um, and it gets me ready for whatever other calculations I needed to do. Thank you.